Hello everyone, it's Andrew at Unlimited Singing Bowls, and we have a really nice set of four crystal bowls, an A, a C, an F, and a G, that we're calling your inner truth. Um, and we'll see what that means in about a moment. So take a sec and find your space, a quiet space. Maybe uh, you're in your uh, office or your living room or their, your TV room. Because you can watch these YouTube videos on your TV. You're in that room and uh, no one's bothering you. And have a comfortable seat. Lay down. Feel like on the couch or the floor. And kind of tune into the spiritual energy of the sound. Because that's where this healing's coming from. There is the sound, the sound waves that you hear and your body experiences, and underneath that is the spiritual vibration that the sound is carrying, the spiritual healing vibration. That when we name a set of bowls, when we ask about that set of bowls, we're looking at the spiritual vibration that's in the crystal, in the sound. I'm just igniting it, for lack of a better term, by playing the crystal. So breathe. Make your body comfortable. Ease into this. So your inner truth. It's different than mine. It's different than your neighbor's. Different than your child's. People always like to complain. Parents like to complain when they have teenagers. When they rebel a little. And they kind of go, well, kids just trying to find their inner truth and live it. They're trying to knock you out of Now, the interesting thing in our world of some dichotomies of yes and no and right and left and yin and yang, dark and light, is when I say truth, it also presupposes or is contingent on that there's this thing as like a lie. Now, the funny thing about a lie is it might be someone else's truth, but for you, it's a lie. Going back to that teenage metaphor, maybe the father was like, hard work in a corporation and you'll succeed and you'll get a house and you'll have three friends and whatever, and then that's good and it worked for me, so it'll work for you. And the kid may have a whole different path, a whole different soul, and they're like, no, I'm going to run around and uh, become uh, an EDM producer and live my life full of uh, hippie drugs and, uh, you know, going to various concerts in Spain and Mexico and become very successful. Kid may become a big top producer and, have a, and that's their inner truth that they're manifesting. There's no right or wrong here, as long as it's yours. Not your ego, yours. Now it could be very, these are very dramatic examples I use. Things could be much more subtle and contained. So what this bull set is really do, good at doing is letting your energy come back to you one of the first things about getting to your inner truth is getting inside. So I want you just to let the sound start to help you bring yourself back from other places. Are you sit back and kind of imagine if you were to say, where have I left my energy? Did you leave it in a work project? Did you leave it in an 
old relationship? Did you leave it in the future, imagining what you're going to be doing? Is part of it just floating around, looking for fun, not even near you? So when you just kind of imagine a big kind of magnetic glowing sun above you, a glowing, beautiful, orange, golden, yellow sun that's going to start to call back you from different spaces, let's say different times, different people. You ever have one of those relationships like, I can't live without that person. I don't know how I'm going to live without them. Well, you left a bunch of energy over there. And then you go, ha I can't believe, I can't believe I was so into that person. Well, your energy's still there, so call it back in this big golden sun. Mm. What was that song? He was a popular American guitar player. What was his name? Bruce uh, Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen, right. And he had a song called Glory Days. About those people stuck in high school. That's a pastime. You're stuck back there. Well, you're not going to get your truth in present day if you're just thinking about your time younger. So allow that to come back. You can think of your own things. to imagine that glowed sun just pop it and let it just fill up your body and your aura with your energy see if you notice that mmm yummy that's you that's your energy but you didn't have it around you so doing other things like a, a book by a therapist or a spiritual teacher or a, something like that that you read and it seemed to you really tried to make that work for you like oh I remember long ago time goes Venus serves women and men and Mars or a, you know the secret just visualize it and you'll have a gazillion dollars. And maybe you bought that, you know, and you're like, I'm going to make this work. I really believe this. It's, it's worked for other people. It's got to work for me. And then maybe it didn't. Maybe it worked a little bit for you, but it wasn't really your truth. It may have been helpful, but it was your truth. So I want you to just imagine the energy of that. Just say hello to it and let it fill up the balloon. Now don't 
push it out. It's just energy. Don't, I'm gonna get it. I hated that book now. I want to, no. Just kind of let it fly out into that balloon. No effort in spirit, just ease. And when you feel that energy is gone out there, take a little pin and pop that balloon. Let the energy dissolve away. Because you were using that information, whatever book it was, as a truth that wasn't yours. We all do it. There's nothing to be uh, embarrassed about. When I was like 15 or 16, I was really into Carlos Castaneda. But I can tell you, when I was taking peyote, did not see the same things as him. All right. Another type of uh, thing that could be a get in the way of your own spiritual truth that you could be a lie is um, let's take a look at a uh, perhaps you've had a spiritual teacher or you grew up with a minister, or a priest, or an imam, or a rabbi, or you found a yoga teacher, what do they call it, a guru, mm-hmm. or a, um, any number of things. And I want you to imagine another balloon out there. And say hello to that and go, you know, I really believed in I don't know, the original sin that uh, my priest talked about one time, or I really believed in uh, that spiritual book I read about how ice cream was the answer to all our uh, malaise as a society. Whatever it is. You know the book you may have read. You know the person who may have uh, influenced you. I really believed in this yogi until I found out he was a real bear. Mm. And I just want you, without fighting, without resisting it, without judging yourself or them, just to let that energy go into that balloon and pop it. You may need another balloon for this, but it's where someone got in the way of your inner truth, your spiritual truth. Sometimes this has a bit more energy on it than reading a book because maybe you had a deeper relationship with the church or the, the group. So you have to be able to forgive yourself and forgive them. You can start with, I'm just going to forgive and then let the energy go. Maybe you really put it on somewhere. It's okay. one we'll look at. I want you to um, put another balloon up there. And this time, it'll be something from your family or a, a close relationship. person or it could be someone out of the family, but just someone where they were very uh, definite about how things were. A girlfriend or boyfriend. Maybe a professor, maybe your, your grandma, your dad, your mom, your foster parent. but they were really clear about something about you. It doesn't have to be spiritually. It could have been like, you're this kind of person, or you're going to do this in your life, or never expect this from the world because the world is this way. You know what I'm talking about. You have someone like that in your life. And I want you to put that, allow that energy that they left in your aura and that you, or your chakras and you held on to, 
allow that to go into the balloon. other lies you're thinking of, you know, and you can do the same thing. I'm just doing this as an example. And sometimes truths can just be from a time period in your life. Maybe you were a really good athlete and you thought, okay, the truth is I'm going to be an amazing ice skater. I'm going to go to the Olympics. I'm going to be in the NBA or I'm going to be in the WNBA. I'm going to be the best swimmer in all of Southern California. And that was a truth that may have, or a belief, say a belief that may have guided you through that time. And as it came out, you found out, oh, I'm not the fastest or the bestest or the tallest or the smallest. I'm only a, I only get a ribbon for participating. I don't get a blue ribbon. Mm-hmm. And so you can forgive yourself. So imagine a little bubble out there and like a, 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 a non-truth, a lie that may have been truthful to have, you know, in your mind to have gotten you there, but it's no longer. As you can see, to get to your inner truth, first we remove the bouquet of lies that we all believe in. to something you were releasing or it could just be something true. It might cause an action for you to do. It might be just like a validation. Like, yeah, you're on the right track about this. Or it might be like, hmm. It might be, say, stop doing this. Do this, you know. It's your truth. I can't tell you what it is. For me today, when I was doing this healing, it was like, Today, my truth is, keep doing these kind of communications. It's the right thing to do for you right now. Would that have been my truth 10 years ago? No. But the general truth is, keep communicating about spiritual things. Which still would have been my truth 10 years ago, because that's what I'm about. If you take it deeper. So might be some of the, hey, let's say the truth you heard was like, 
keep playing tennis? I'm like, oh, that's okay. But then what was the deeper truth in that? Oh, keep taking care of your body and, and healing it that way and finding communication and friendship within a sports situation. Sometimes people get a direction like, oh, let's say, start learning how to be a nutritionist. And why was that? And because, oh, because your truth was you want to help people heal their bodies and their communication with their bodies. There are all sorts of truths. And those are just day-to-day truths. Other ones might just be a spiritual truth. Like, uh, Do this to get a more on track with, with your soul. These are just examples. You could have thousands more, but usually there's a basic core truth in there that you can get guidance from. So if someone always said, oh, you'll never be a painter, and you kind of gave up, but inside you were desperate to be a painter. As you take out the lies, you might actually find, oh, I really am a painter. I'll have to do it my way. I really am someone who's going to make weird synthesizer beep beep noises. Mm-hmm. You got to do it your way. So I'm going to shut up now and just play the bowls and allow yourself to fill up and hear and know your truth. space is not just a one video time really being able to separate yourself from all the different lies of the day um, lies of your life lies of past lives it's always good because the more strength you get in hearing your divine truth inside which is given to you the stronger you'll be and the happier you'll be Uh, thanks Andrew here